We'll get started. So my name is Brian Rozak. I'm the security director out at Texas Instruments. So I've been at TI 20 years now. And when I got my MBA here, it was from 2005 to 2008. So I got the traditional MBA with the cybersecurity certification part. And uh, when I was going through the program, I had three daughters. At the time, they were 9, 11, and 13. So, and then at work, I travel about once every quarter internationally. So I took almost all of my courses online since it gave me that flexibility to keep traveling and still, still keep up with all the school and everything like that. So that's kind of my background and my story, and I'll let the rest of my, my colleagues here give you a similar overview, and then we'll just open it up to questions, and hopefully we can answer them. Uh, my name is John Harton, and I'm the Senior Database Administrator at Cook Children's Hospital uh, in Fort Worth. Um, I worked on my MBA from 2006 to 2011. I actually graduated in April. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, I did my MBA in IT. Um, and while I was doing it, I was working 70 hours a week, just about. Uh, started out at Verizon and then moved to Cook's. That's pretty much it. Okay. I'm Sonia Kirkpatrick, and um, I started, well, I just graduated in April as well, and um, I started, and I guess it was, it took me about two and a half years, and working full-time, I work for Nokia Siemens Networks, and I handle their global finance within the real estate division. My travel schedule was approximately 50%, so I took a mixture of online and um, in-class, both. And part of that for me was I wanted to meet people. I, I wasn't, I'm kind of old school. I got my undergraduate in 1994 from Texas Tech and I wanted to meet some people. I was really scared to go back to college to be quite honest with you. It'd been a long time and for me to go back to college, I, I wasn't really in that online mindset, to be quite honest with you. It's, it was kind of scary to me, thinking, how can you really take a class online, and how does it work? So um, I did take a few of those classes. I tried to manage it as much as possible um, in order to, well, I, I, again, it was just more about meeting people. I wanted some colleagues. I wanted networking. I wanted to really make the best out of this experience, and of course, to, the thought of sitting down and actually taking a test again was frightening to me. I don't know if you all have the same, you know, mindset to say I can't imagine sitting down to take a test again. But it's so different after you've been out, you've been working, and school isn't nearly as hard the second time around. <laughs> and so that was very, that was really great for me. I also took advantage of the study tours that they had. I went to China, um, and that was phenomenal. I also went, took a trip to Munich, Milan, and Austria, and so I took two study tours. I got a global um, business master's, uh, being in a global business, and for me, though, my, my thought initially of why I wanted to go back and get my master's was that I was feeling a little dead in my job, and I wasn't very inspired, and so I thought this would be great for me. I do have three children. I have... Three daughters who, when I started as well, they were 8, 10, and 12, and my oldest daughter has autism, and so that was a challenge for me, but I thought, I'm going to do it now, or I'm never going to do it, and what this program has done for me is I've had an idea about opening a clinic all along for autistic children, but I've never put it down on paper, and so it gave me an opportunity to enter a business plan competition within the University of Dallas and put my ideas down onto paper. And I won third place in the business plan competition, and my new clinic should open in January of this next year. Congratulations. So that was very exciting for me. So that's kind of my bit. You might go in there like I was thinking, okay, global business, definitely, you know, I've got this global job. Boy, did I flip around. You know, it's, so it, it opens doors for you. It opens people. And you, you like for me, I, I want to live. I've got one life. I want to live it. I want to look back and go, I lived. Wow, this was great. So, but anyway, that's my story, my long-winded story. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll hand it off to Jim. And I should have gone before her. <laughs> 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 Very difficult. 
I'm Jim Price. I was here from uh, 2006 to 2008. Uh, did the traditional MBA HR concentration. Uh, I did pretty much everything here on campus, but I was trying to, to get done. I had made up my mind I was going to get the MBA. I had taken a long time to finish my um, bachelor's work, so I was going to make up time here. So I was doing 9 to 12 credits every, and got done it in five, uh, five semesters. Uh, but I made the decision to come here and do it that way on ground, because very similar, I wanted to, I wanted to get the networking, I wanted to meet people, and I just felt the need to, to have the interaction also with, with, the, with the instructors. Um, if I was going to pick their brains for everything I could get in a year and a half to two years, I, I just felt I wanted to, to have them in front of me to, to be able to do that. Wasn't sure what to expect uh, when I started my MBA program. Um, I really didn't have an agenda other than I wanted the MBA. Uh, was a little bit worried when I started that it was going to be an exercise because I had been in my career for so long. I'm a senior VP in HR at Citigroup and had been in that career for several years uh, before even starting the program. Was worried I would just be doing my time to, to get the degree and was very happily surprised that that wasn't the case, uh, was able to actually um, not only learn a lot, but because of the different students in the class, the different industries, even the different background of, of the instructors, was able to look at some things I've been kind of thinking about the same way for several years and see them from a different perspective, a, a different light. So that's really my takeaway from, from the program. Even if you've been kind of doing the same thing for a while, be really open to the people that you're going to be in class with people who aren't from your industry, people who maybe only have three or four or five years in the work field as opposed to what a lot of you probably have. Uh, because they will challenge you uh, just to think about how you're thinking and your perspectives and so embrace every model, every concept that you can, look at it, turn around, analyze it, don't just dismiss it because it might not be in, you know, something that you think is immediately ap applicable to your job. You might be surprised by what it will kind of open your eyes when you're in the program.